Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Chantel here. If you're just seeing me for the first time, thank you for joining in today. If you like what you see already, please do well to subscribe. Thank you so much. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all what I invested on and the changes I made behind the scenes to take my YouTube video quality from this to what you see right now. Basically, just how I leveled up my channel. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you belong to the group of those who have been hearing a lot about Skillshare but have no clue what it's about or you haven't heard about Skillshare at all, here's a brief introduction. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives with thousands of inspiring, super interesting, innovative and informative classes. One thing I like about Skillshare is that you can use it according to your own schedule and skill level. They've got classes that range from photography to advertising to entrepreneurship to web development to content creating animation and a whole lot more as a content creator i'm always looking for ways to improve my quality of video and editing skills i took some learning classes that greatly broadened my horizons one of my favorites being that anchored by Halis Navez, where she was talking about how to tell an engaging story in minutes on instagram it also included some photography tips on framing jump cut sequence slow-mo etc I really really enjoy that class all of these for less than ten dollars a month and there's also an annual payment but but because we want you to level up on your creative game for a limited time only the first 1000 people to click on the link in my description box get to enjoy a free trial of skillshare's premium membership we're nice like that i know mm -hmm. you're welcome that means that you don't have any cuts in your classes you watch everything and yeah you get to learn more and more every day because there's no limit to learning and learning never gets old okay if you're one of those that have been here with me from the beginning of my youtube journey then you can already tell how weak how weak my video quality was so for starters thank you so much going back to watch my old youtube videos make me cringe so bad like i'm being honest right now i know that there's still room for a lot of improvement i'm not the type of person that just gets comfortable at any level i like to push 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 looking back i noticed that the changes were gradual from me tweaking techniques here and there and yeah i'm just going to be sharing with you the things i changed over time that got me to where i'm at now in terms of my youtube video quality the first thing being my filming gear a lot of content creators use their phone and get pretty decent quality i never got to use my phone while starting out because i already purchased a camera back then i used the nikon d3300 which was good but not so good looking back at my quality now you can tell that it wasn't so good but then i leveled up and invested in a canon n50 which is what i currently use this camera doesn't come really cheap and yeah if you're starting out i wouldn't advise you to go and invest a huge chunk of money in purchasing one you can start out with your phone if you have good quality next thing i changed for my youtube quality to become what it is now is my microphone before now i used to use the inbuilt mic on my camera which i low-key do sometimes still now but i'm changing that <laughs> but i went on ahead to invest in two microphones the first one being the Boya Lavella mic and then I went on ahead to buy the Boya Cardioid microphone. Third item I changed was my lighting. When I first started out I was using a ring light but it wasn't giving me the best quality I wanted. I also used natural light as well but with the natural light my calculations were really wrong. I thought that you should film when the sun is at its peak so most times when I film a video I look crusty, I look shiny, I look not good at all so i went to invest in a good led light this is the young new one fourth on my list is a computer i've always used a computer to edit my videos but i am aware that your phones can make pretty good video editors in fact i have a video on my channel which i'm going to leave linked where i mentioned apps that you can use to edit on your phone the computer i currently use is a hp computer it's their pro book and it gives me the same quality right now i'm not complaining fifth change i made was for my editing software i've come to realize that the editing software you use either makes or breaks your video output formerly i used to use the wondershare filmora but the old model but sometime last week i upgraded to the filmora x and i have noticed the great change in my video quality this is about 50 dollars for an annual purchase i think i will confirm that and leave it in my description box or on the screen but yeah i upgraded my editing software and i have no regrets you guys i'm loving every bit of it i found that color correction transitions and so many other settings on this one are way more better i also invested in an external hard drive i found that this makes editing easier for me and it doesn't slow down my system unlike the days when i will directly import the videos from my camera to my computer and editing was so much hard work right now i just export the videos into my external hard drive and edit from there it saves space for me on my computer and it's faster this is a one terabyte toshiba hard drive i think i got this for about 30,000 naira 
between 30 and 35,000. I can't remember for sure right now. Next on my list are my lenses. These have to be the most, one of the most expensive investments I've made. I got the 50 mm lens at first from Yongno and I noticed that it was too close because I filmed from a restricted space. I was too cropped in, so I decided to invest in the 35 mm. Right now, I barely use my 50 mm lens, but I'm not letting that go anytime soon because I know that with time, I'm going to get a bigger filming space and it will do its work. I filmed this video with a 35 mm lens by Youngno as well pretty good right because my background is blurred out and I'm not so far from the camera so yeah these are part of the investments I made to level up my YouTube game one tip though if you're thinking of investing in a third-party company lens like Youngno and you tend to use it on your Canon camera or your Nikon camera then you would need an adapter so i went on ahead to get a canon adapter to enable me use any type of lens i would want to use in the future i also invested in tripods i have the handheld tripod from manfrotto which i got on amazon i will leave the link in my description box and then for my bigger tripod i invested in this one from samsonite for my good quality thumbnails which i have gotten so many comments so many people dm me and like how do you do your thumbnails your thumbnails are so bright and beautiful i invested in the paid version of canva i know that the free version is available to everyone but sometimes when you need to get a transparent background or you need to add some elements on your picture it doesn't let you do that until you upgrade to the paid ones. The last upgrade I made for my YouTube video quality, at least for now, was redecorating my room and getting myself a filming space from my room. You guys, I have a video on that and I will leave it linked in the cards as well. So I went on ahead to paint my room all white just to let in light and also invested in some decorative accents which you can see in the background just to make my filming background look better and more picturesque. Today's video is certainly better than last week's video because I learned something new which brings me back to the sponsors of this video, Skillshare. Learning communities like Skillshare will sort you out because they are an array of interesting classes that will help you explore your creativity hope you enjoyed watching today's video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and leave your comments down below give this video a thumbs up and also share with your friends and family thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next one hope you level up as well bye guys